our guest is here. Put on those Hello. headphones. Uh, if you don't know him already, this is the YouTuber Chris Howard. Welcome to the show, Chris. Welcome, Thank you. welcome. I, I feel very welcomed. Yes. And uh, Chris is a, a vlogger primarily uh, on YouTube, and he's got his vlog camera right here. Are you Indeed filming right I now? Do. Oh, yes. oh my right gosh, now. we are on his vlog. We are now, right now. We, are, we are now hashtag YouTube famous. We're gonna be the next. <laughs> gonna be the next Pootie Pie, just minus that little slip up. Yes. Oh, oh snap. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> we are starting yeah, out that, strong here. Right oh, out of the gate. I love you, Felix. No, 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 right, no hard feelings. Right out of the gate. Uh, Chris, uh, just so people can get to know you a little bit, do you want to talk quickly about just um, what type of videos you do and then just kind of why you're passionate about making those videos? What made you choose uh, this kind of career path? Mm -hmm. uh, hi, my name is Chris Howard. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I daily vlog which I've always kind of been making vlogs basically my whole life. Like, literally, my <laughs> I, I used to, like, steal my mother's point-and-shoot out of her purse when she wasn't looking. When you were, like, a two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> like, did, did your mom know this? <laughs> Does your mom know now? Oh, she... oh she knew then. <laughs> <laughs> she, she goes to get it developed, and she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> so, like, I've always been kind of making videos. I would just, it would... You know, I just keep them within the family. I'd show my mom and, or make them sit down and watch my videos. Uh, and one day, I was also one of those kids that was like basically convinced that oh, YouTube is full of stalkers that will come and you know murder me. So I I didn't want anything to do with YouTube at the time. This was like 2010, I want to mm -hmm. say. Um, and my father actually, because he he works in like tech, right? He's very connected with that whole world. He was like, nah, it's fine. He put one of my videos on YouTube, Ooh. and of course I kind of freaked out, but. A couple months later. get all these stalkers. <laughs> yeah. oh, what did you do, Dad? I, I think it got a hundred views. And so I was expecting A hundred stalkers. St yeah, stopped on the street. In uh, 2010? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think this was 2011 at this point. I don't really later, remember, yeah. But yeah, and since then, like, I kind of said, well, I guess this is a thing now. <laughs> so I started posting every week, and... Uh, yeah, it's it's something that because I've always like done it, it's just part of my life. Like I I can't imagine life without a camera in my hand. It's like attached to you. Actually. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you can't see it. It's a little invisible string. But it, <laughs> if I tried to pull the camera, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Your body would come with it. Yeah, it's like at a party. Like I don't see. Oh, this is something that I should engage in. It's how can I get mm. good shots from this? Yes. And I mean, some people might say like, no, put the camera down, live in the moment. But this is how I live in the moment. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool because, you know, that moment then lasts forever, yeah. which is awesome. Because I have horrible long-term or short-term memory. That's crazy. I was going to ask about that because I know some people who are, are very obsessive with getting footage from everything. Mm -hmm. And those people are people who have bad memories. Oh, so yes. it's almost like you're, and again, it's like that evolution from human to cyborg where you're using <laughs> vlogging as your memory, essentially, which this is interesting. Is very true. Oh, I'm not even going to deny that that's what's happening. Like, yeah. It's crazy to me because, like, the, we lost all, all of our photos from a hard drive failure from 2012 oh, to 2014. So, like, wow. those years of my life, I have no memory of either. Wow. <laughs> and so, but now I have, like, I can go back to any day in the past year and remember exactly what we did that day. And that's wow. so cool. That that is that is really awesome. So where where do you kind of see your career going from here? Like, are there certain things you want to accomplish that you have yet to accomplish? Well, and I think before that, how long have you been? Yes. like professionally, or would you consider yourself a professional vlogger? I mean, sure. <laughs> At what point does one become a so, professional? So 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 here I'll, I'll put it this way: At the level you are producing now, how long have you pr been producing at this level? Um, well, I was, po like, consistently posting, or, like, yeah. my specific rate of upload. Let's say, when when you turned it from a hobby into something, you were like, okay, I'm regularly going to be doing this. Whew. Uh, probably since 2014. Okay, so you've been four at years. this, you've been at this for four years, okay. Yeah. And I, I, well, I was doing weekly until, actually, a year ago, I decided I want to try daily, but that was on a second channel, because I didn't trust myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that moment when there were many channels of yours, and I was yeah. like, which one? <laughs> I have way too many channels. Yes. But yeah, and so it was only actually uh, this January that I completed a full year of daily vlogging on my second channel. I was like, oh, wow. okay, I know what I'm doing. Mm. I can do this. Yeah. And so I started posting on the main and uh it's been going decently well i think that that is so as far as the future is concerned then like what are mm -hmm. you looking to do in the future just continue what you're doing now 
I mean, I would love to do that. Like, honestly, yeah. I'm having a blast. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I sure don't do it because of the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, how's the uh, YouTube adpocalypse been hitting you? <laughs> what, because what, what's it now? You need to have uh, several tens it's, of thousands uh, of viewers 4, a month. 4,000 um, 4, viewers. I believe it's uh, 4,000 watch hours on mm -hmm. YouTube. 4,000 watch hours on 1,000 subscribers hours. and at least 10,000 views on your channel. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's insane. Wow. Yeah. It kills a lot of smaller YouTube yeah. YouTubers. Thankfully, that didn't really affect me on my main channel because um, I'm a little past that. Thank you guys. <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> I, I think he's thanking his fans, not you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're you're a fan though, right? <laughs> yeah, we're all fans. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're here, we're all fans down here. <laughs> oh my gosh! But yeah, so that really hasn't affected me too much, which I'm very grateful. It's but I, I do have some friends that got hit by that, and they're mm. upset, which. Understandable. Yeah, that's a whole. But, but that is cool that that it does that this is looking like something that will be fruitful for you now and in the future, and something you can continue doing going forward. I hope so, because like, like I, you know, growing up, I always knew I was going to do something with cameras. I just kind of assumed when I was a kid, like, oh, I'm going to make movies. But the pro <laughs> the problem with making movies is that like, <laughs> like the great thing about the vlogging, money. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about vlogging for me is like kind of I'm. Wow, I'm gonna sound like such a control freak, but like I'm in control of yeah, everything. Yeah. You know, like there's true. no distribution. If I wanna change something, I don't need to go to five other people. Um, I just like, oh, I wanna do this. Now I wanna do this. And then in editing I, I can just hit upload and yeah. that's it. Yeah, you have so much creative control and that's that's absolutely fantastic. Uh while you've been vlogging, kind of what are some of the vlogs that you've done that you're like really proud of or just some really cool things that you've done on screen over the years? Um, pretty much any time I go down to Santa Monica. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Santa Monica. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the first time I really posted a video and I was like, wow, I'm genuinely really proud of that. Was that my first time going to the uh, 2016 VidCon? Mm. Um, that was like the first time I really put... And that was actually the first video of yours that I saw, finally. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Glad you saw the yeah. quality. Yes. But yeah, like pretty much any big event that I go to, like... Um, I don't know. Uh, vacations. Now. I there was a, a meetup from a YouTuber that I really enjoy in Nashville. That's actually where I met and you. That, yeah, that's where we met. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the uh, Blind Macau guys Woo -woo. and to uh, Kevin McCurry. Yeah. yeah. Is there is there anything that you you have yet still to do? Like something that you would cross off your bucket list as far as as far as your vlogging goes that you still haven't covered you're like i've got to do this one day this is like my ultimate goal whether it's recording somebody as a big celebrity or mm -hmm. you know doing something for the media or what would that be um this is gonna sound like such a stereotypical answer but like it'd be great to be like get the yellow badge at vidcon like the all access yeah. <laughs> oh, like just i don't know i i found what i love to do and it'd be great to like be with a lot of other people that I know like the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would love to do that too. That would be that would be amazing. I, I got really lucky one time um at VidCon where uh I was helping some friends over at a booth mm -hmm. and they're like, Hey, you know, there's gonna be a creator mixer in here after it gets shut down to the public and this is gonna be when the creators have a chance to come in and, and talk to the vendors and you know, hang out and I'm like can I like kind of hide <laughs> under your table? <laughs> and I basically almost, it almost came to that a few oh times where there were security going around making sure everybody had the, the vendor passes or the all access passes. And I'm just kind of like hiding over in the corner, <laughs> like no one look at me, no one look at me. Um, I might've had to pretend that I lost it for a second. I don't know, but somehow <laughs> I stayed in there. I met a lot of really, really cool people. I got to meet the guy behind it all, John Green. Like nice. it was amazing. Nice. So to be able to not have to hide under a table to, to talk to those people would be, oh, that would be the dream. <laughs> I, I could feel that i feel that that's awesome the question is have you actually met hank green though no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> and then for for those who aren't familiar with your uh, with your channel what sort of daily vlogging do you do is it comedy journalism kind of daily life i almost kind of consider it like part of a reality tv show that's kind of how i uh try to that edit it um so it's not a, i mean like it's <laughs> Of course, I'm going to bring up Casey Neistat because... Well, I was about to ask you, what are, what are some YouTubers that have really inspired you through this process? Honestly, oh, there's like... Question. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
there's like three big ones. Obviously, I'm going to say Casey because he's like yeah. the vlogger. Um, there's also uh, some of my friends, Twin Sauce. They have been doing daily for almost two years now, and they're like huge inspirations mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then <laughs> I actually, it's it, I just discovered this guy, uh, Left Coast, mm. something <laughs> like that. And like, I don't know, my vlogs always kind of unintentionally mimic whoever I've been watching a lot of. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that's a bad thing. <laughs> No, you got to take a piece of everything, you mm -hmm. know, and take the best parts of certain things and put them together and then make something new out of it. Um, that's 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 really cool. Uh, so thank you so much for being on the show. Yes, uh, thank Chris, you. Chris is going to stick around. We're going to talk a little bit about the Oscars and our reaction to that before we close out the show. But before we do, I just want to make sure that everybody knows how to get to Chris's work <laughs> online. YouTube.com so, slash Chris Porter Howard. There Look you at go. that. You hear that voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you should be doing radio. <laughs> <laughs>